city sector is one of the hot topics at CES 2018, with nearly every major technology provider eager to implement technology that could bring urban living into the digital age. Here's Lani Valdecantos for the report. Lani? Here at CES, cutting-edge technology is all about being smart. Smart homes, smart vehicles, so it's no wonder that innovators didn't stop there and have developed smart cities. Smart cities? We'll find out what exactly that is from top companies and global leaders paving the future. I imagine in a smart city, we as citizens are more engaged and empowered thanks to technologies that take care of things for us, save us time, allow us to move, breathe, and actually live better. It's estimated that 66% of the world's population will live in urban areas by the year 2050. As cities grow, urban infrastructure needs to evolve and implement new technology and strategies. So we took the fast lane to the smart city sector, which showcased all the latest technology. These included fully electric powered scooters with its smart innovative design, super speed electric charging stations that charge electric vehicles, smart intelligent street lighting combined with high powered sensors. We learned that a smart city starts with its foundation showing how the smartest cities will think in 5G. Why do we say that? A city can't be smart unless it's connected. And what Ericsson brings is connectivity to the networks and connectivity capacity. Whether that's 5G technology or evolving 4G to massive MIMO, we're showing how cities will be connected. A connected city consists of a whole ecosystem that brings together 5G connectivity, an IoT network, and data analytics. The easiest entry point to developing a smart city starts with a common street map. Our intelligent platform, which is basically an intelligent way to replace or to approach a traditional street lamp. So what we did was we took everything from LED lighting, which of course reduces electrical bills for the cities, but as well as 4K cameras that have facial recognition, license plate recognition. But all that data has to get fed somehow up to a solution which can interpret it, understand it. So what we're doing is basically using this, not just for Wi-Fi, but also for IoT, so that it can act as a receptacle for any of those devices that the city might want to roll out. As these innovative street lamps provide cities with data analytics and visualization, it brings up one of its major concerns, pollution. Award-winning products allow for real-time air quality data and environmental parameters. With the environment in mind, electric vehicles are becoming more and more popular. The fact that when you charge electric vehicles today, it takes a long time. Electric loading brings to bring to you a 10-minute charging system. The less emissions discharged is not only safer, but it's simply smarter. What we know as a neighborhood gas station may soon be replaced with electric charging stations that will rapidly charge your vehicle and get you back on the road with the assurance that it's better for our environment. With all this new technology, we asked these innovators their final thoughts on what citizens should keep in mind. It kind of illustrates the potential capabilities of a computer versus the fallibility of mankind. Um, and, and I'm sure there's always going to be imperfections, right? Any, any data, any technology always is going to have bumps and bruises along the way. But as it gets more refined, as we pull in more sensory data and basically connect a larger canopy of information, it just makes everybody safer. They, I mean, it, they, it will help them in their daily life. Uh, we have to go through and think about ourselves. How this solution would make my life easier? And I think this is the most important thing. Doing less manual processes and using technology to uh, make those processes faster and safer and more effective. Smart cities aim to provide efficiency and quality of life for its citizens. Are you on board with a smart city? I definitely am. I'm Lonnie Valdicantos from the Las Vegas Bureau, and I am one with 25.